and thanks for tuning in to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramph. And uh, sorry for the delay. We had a couple of uh, technical difficulties. Yep. But now we're on the air. Now we're on the air and we're here to stay for the next... 30 Half minutes. an hour, 40 minutes. It really depends. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that was a wonderful opening song by Asaph Adonai. Asaph, what song was that? That is a song called Skip to My Lou. Oh. Nice. <laughs> nice. It's, it's going to tie fun. in with our story. All right. I look forward to hearing all about it. And you guys should too because Asaph is losing it. Asaph yeah. is so excited. <laughs> no. We can't wait. But yeah. one thing that is losing it is the weather. The weather is so nice yesterday, but it's going to be terrible pretty much all this week. All the day long. Yeah. So um, you can expect um, today to be showers, likely a 70% chance of showers. But of course, it's going to be a high of 52 degrees. Um, your low is going to be 32. Um, you can have a little rain snow mixture happening for the next couple days and it's basically not going to change throughout the week so it po it'll probably snow and rain when you don't want it to snow and rain mm -hmm. like when you go outside yeah but when you're inside it's gonna be nice nice that's sunny. just kind of how the world works yeah of course <laughs> but of course uh <laughs> if you want to uh if you want to control what you watch on the online you can go to our website wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula so nice to meet you spelled out twice you can also um, like us on our Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter. You can also like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about us, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yes, indeedy. And of course, uh, there is um, some new programs happening tonight. Ooh. And uh, let me just go through the list real quickly. Um, we have our uh, um, Classic Art Showcase, which is going to be following our Wake Up Missoula show today, as well as um, Drawing Men to Christ Ooh. later. <laughs> Metaphysical Concepts at 12. Uh, Wake Up Missoula again this afternoon at 2 p.m. Um, there's the Northwest Indian News. Um, there's the Fusion Concert. And I have a clip which basically shows you a whole bunch of new programming that's happening today and tomorrow night. Um, but of course, um, without further ado, I'm just going to show you real quick, and then when we come back, I have a couple other clips I want to show you as well. So we'll get right into it right after this. <laughs> for conservation no matter where you're working in the world and when done properly tourism nature-based tourism can be really valuable for education too and provide other benefits like income etc uh, I wasn't able to go with Ty to, to this project I went with a woman who's the executive director of the primate rescue center we did stroke in terms of years of life awesome. we're still missing something though we're actually still missing the greatest cause of pain and suffering, by far the leading cause of medical spending. Uh, the sort of leading things that plague us and the people we love and increasingly plague people around the world. And that's everything that doesn't kill you, okay? All right, and you can see all that happening tonight and tomorrow night. And is there anything on that uh, on a little list of new program that really jumped out at you? Well, also, just like meningitis is eight times worse than a stroke. Where do they get those numbers? I don't know. How is it eight times worse? How come it's not five <laughs> times worse? Well, what does that mean? I want to see some proof. Yeah. Well, right. speaking of statistics, I did a shoot last Friday at Free Cycles. Oh. They did uh, Cycles of Change, and they're talking about environmental um, sustainability and all this cool. stuff. And one of the guest speakers really spoke to me. Nice. And I want to share with you what he shared with everybody everybody else at Free Cycles. This is Albert Borgman and he is talking about dispelling the fog and saving the need and the joy and seeing, not saving, seeing the need and the joys and environment, environmental justice. Oh cool. So, Sweet. here it is. 
So I'm proposing a concept. It's fog. It's as though we're all walking around in the fog. And the fog sort of softens and, and fuzzies up the contours of people, the contours of nature, the contours of our practices, of our past. And uh, the uh, and, and so we're walking around in that fog. And, and do we get lost? Not really. There is this little magic wand that we all carry with us called smartphone. And when you're lost, you uh, take your smartphone and, and find out what's going on. And of course, nice. um, he talks a little more about this, <laughs> about good. how um, the more um, uh, like global warming mm -hmm. is increasing while um, this fog that we live in is um, increasing as well. The, the whole, I guess it's his, um, his belief is that, you know, we're just in denial. Is it like a metaphorical fog? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I was like, like the fog of like, everyone's like busy and distracted, yeah. even though they probably shouldn't. Yeah, be. it's just the fog of like being in their own lives and their own thing mm -hmm. and the media fog. Cool, if, I like that, that was neat. I, I mean, I, the, his whole thing was great. Um, there was a couple other lectures that day. It was like a, it was five people came up from the University of Montana mm -hmm. and they lectured about environmental justice. Yeah, and, and they had really a dinner cool. too, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Aw, free cycles, you're the best. Mm -hmm. We love you. Yeah, and uh, of course, if you are interested in being and uh, helping with their Cycles of Change um, campaign to raise a mm -hmm. million dollars, you can go to the website freecycles.org. Yeah, they just uh, launched an online campaign fundraiser. They have too. until May to raise um, one million dollars. June, I thought. Is it May? Mother, is, isn't it? Um, I, I thought it was Memorial Day, around Memorial, Memorial Day. Day. Yeah. That's what I heard. June. I don't know. But also, they do have a lot of other options, too, if they don't raise mm -hmm. the money. But either way, donate, you guys. Well, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Of course, um, um, before we jump into events, I do want to show a nice little fun video. And um, it's a video that I made. Um, last Saturday for yeah. stop animation. It was fun, we didn't have too many kids, so all the kids that we did have were pretty self-sustainable, so Scott and I got to be creative, and he did a stop motion and I just colored. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and used glitter glue, it was a yep. blast. But without further ado, here is uh, Scott Fight. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. You're about to get trouble. <laughs> Stay down. Need some help, boss? Let's get them. <laughs> you guys don't look so tough. Let's rush them. Take your shot. <laughs> With pleasure. You destroyed my car. You're tough. Thank you. Boss, he's dead. That was lovely. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's the power of stop motion. You make fabulous videos like that. Of course. Uh, but just before, um, I have some city council stuff I want to talk about later yes. today. What you can expect for your city council Cause um, we're report pretty, on Scott's Wednesday. Pretty excited. I'm excited, and it's, <laughs> it's hilarious. It's I read yeah. some of the ordinances, and it's like I got to talk about this. But I'll talk about it after events with Noah McAvoy dissolve. Great. Hello, everyone, and this is what's going on in your community. So. Um, it does not appear, there's really not a whole lot going on today. MissoulaEvents.net is where I usually get all my information from, and they had a short list. Short so, show. Short show. So this is what's going on today. So, uh, it's starting at 9 a.m. over at the Lifelong Learning Center. They've got a couple classes this morning. One of them is called Buying and Selling on eBay. Uh, you can learn the basics of buying and selling on eBay. Yeah. Uh, you can call 549-8765 if you want to register for that or go or want more information. 
And then their next class this morning, also at 9 a.m., is called Using Your Mac. Um, and so this class will is going to be, let's see, it's pretty much, okay, so it's based around the El Capitan operating system. I don't know what that means. So maybe I should go. So uh, that's not nine, and also you can call 549-8765 uh, for more information. It's the new OS from the Mac, you know, the new update and all that stuff. Oh, it is? I honestly did not like El Capitan. Really? I, I like Yosemite and Maverick, but What did you El not Capitan, like about it? I don't know. It, there's just something, um, this is some weird desktop stuff, and the way the browser kind of like changed in a way. It, it made it a little harder to find things. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Just huh. like the tabs, just little tiny tabs in here and there. There's yeah. just access all together. Yeah, yeah, Macs, Macs are pretty easy in the way that you can search for things easily and find stuff, but I don't know, check it out. Maybe you guys will find out. Learn some stuff. Learn some stuff and then you can tell us about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, dissolve. Okay, so. Family fun time is at Miss Will Gymnastics at 9.30. This is an open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Um, and then, so usually on Mondays they have bridge group and they have duplicate bridge. So I finally did some little research on duplicate bridge. And Mondays from 9.30 to 11.30 they have a short duplicate bridge lesson followed by a newcomer game with analysis of hands the following game. So you can call 369-5501 for more information. Um, it's only six bucks for a lesson and donuts and coffees are provided. So if you want to play duplicate bridge or want to play bridge but don't really know, there is a there's a newcomer, newcomer's game and lesson at 9.30, Mondays, yeah. 2825 Stockyard Road. Um, and then at 11 over at Roots Acro Sports Center, they've got their preschool play group. So uh, starting, yeah, 11 to 12, eight dollars drop in, twelve dollars for siblings, and they set up different activities and stations around the gym, and the parents and children get to rotate and choose what they want to do. Over at Montgomery Distillery is Moscow Monday, so from noon until eight, a dollar from each cocktail sold goes to the different nonprofit that they're donating to. Usually, they're nonprofits that they. Uh, qualify for their Moscow Monday or their charity event or have to do with environmental stewardship, um, children, welfare, and education. And then we've got our bridge groups. This is at the Senior Center at 1. This is a beginner's brush up group. And then Duplicate Bridge uh, is at 2825 Stockyard Road and that's also at 1. President's Lecture Series Seminar is at the University of Montana at 3 in the Gallagher Business Building Room 123. Um, they are talking on two new games for carbon. So it's going to be there. a lot of the speakers are chemistry um, and chemical biology professors. I love carbon. Yeah. Yay, carbon. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> over at Missoula Public Library, they've got their makerspace, electronics exploration. Starting at three, you can go in there and work on a project of your choice or just check out how to use stuff. Uh, over the Top Out Lounge, they've got their Raising the Dead. They've got live recorded shows of their Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They also have a happy hour, an audio show, and trivia. That's great stuff. Every Mondays. Missoula Public Library at 6 p.m. has intro to email. You can call 721-BOOK to register for that. And then there's open mic night at Imagination Brewing Company at 6. Uh, and then there is a President's Lecture Series Lecture Ooh. at the University of Montana in the Denison Theater at 8. And they are talking on the commonalities and differences between the arts and sciences. It oh, made more sense if it was cool. the University Center Center since they put out lecture twice. <laughs> uh, and then our last event for Monday is Blues Monday at the Badlander at 9 o'clock so you can go on down there and listen to some blues music. But up next we're switching gears and we've got Asaph's segment. Yeah. Okay. Where, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I found true love. You met another and pfft, you were gone. <laughs> 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 anyway, I'm not really a singer, so maybe I better not quit my day job. But the people who could really sing that song that I was attempting was Archie Campbell and Gordon Tapp. They were characters on an old variety show of the past because, see, in the 60s, remember when I talked about Flip Wilson last week? Mm -hmm. Well, they had a bunch of variety shows like the Sonny and Cher show, the Carpenters, the Smothers Brothers, Shaw and Aw, the Lawrence Welk show, the Liberace show, and just tons of other variety shows. But of all the variety shows, the one I want to talk about today was probably the most fun, silliest, goofiest, um, 
song of all uh, variety show of all time. We're talking about hee haw, hee haw, <laughs> <laughs> and there was their mascot right there, this donkey. See, before there was the donkey in the Shrek series, there was this donkey here, and this was the mascot. So at the beginning, he would always go hee haw like that. <laughs> yeah. Now let's go to the next picture, and I'll narrate. And um, on the right was Roy Clark, and on the left was Buck Owens. They were the actual host of this program. Now let's go to the next picture. <laughs> and um, they, they were the host. Here they are. And, and see this background here? This was called Cornfield, spelled K-O-R-N field. <laughs> <laughs> and they had a radio station called K-O-R-N Radio. And this actor here was the radio host of the program here. And it was just such a fun, delightful, silly show. And um, what's interesting about this show, it aired on regular television from 1969 to 1971. And then for 21 years, it ran in local syndication. And that's where it became enduring instead of being on the regular television. It was inspired by the creators of Ron and Martin's Laugh-In, and the only difference is this show had like voluptuous, scantily clad women wearing typical farmer daughter's outfits in the series too. Now these two singers here, they are the ones that um, sung that song, and then we get this clip, we'll show you these two in action here. I'd have on somebody else's britches. <laughs> I hate my mother-in-law. Well, if it wasn't for your mother-in-law, you wouldn't have your wife. That's another reason I hate her. <laughs> wouldn't that talk your dang pistol? <laughs> I'm Miss Heehaw. A man who falls in love with a beautiful woman is lucky. And a man who falls in love with a rooster is an insane man. <laughs> Darling, I'll always remember you took my best friend and away you did go. I wish you'd come back cause my heart is broken. You shouldn't have done it cause I miss him so. <laughs> where, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and I thought I've gone through the... You Okay, anyway, they would have said, you know, they would have did the thing that I did at the beginning there. But anyway, um, my final words, there were other shows that um, made it in syndication, like the Lawrence Welk Show and Soul Train, which hit African American artists. All those shows pretty much came up in that era. But of all the variety shows, this one was probably the most unusual and different because of the country setting and all the country stars of the past like Minnie Pearl, Johnny Cash, Loretta Lynn and just tons of others I wouldn't have time to mention they all appeared on this show and it was just a fun family show but they had their niche because everything was related to country and finally the name of that song is spelled PFFT you were gone. That's the name of that song. <laughs> and I'll stop right there. All right. Nice. Thanks, Thank Asaph. you very much, Asaph. That was Musical Notes with Asaph on and And we will be back with uh, Tuesday events right after this.
We're back. Okay, so this is what's going on in your community on Tuesday. Lots more happening tomorrow than there is Monday. It usually works out like that. Monday usually is kind of not very much going on, kind of chill, eases you into the week, and then Tuesdays, and from there on It's out, crazy. Lots of things happening, yes. So, uh, tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. is the winter, winter walking tours and coffee meets over at Kearns Aquatic Center. They meet there at 9, and then uh, tomorrow they're driving up to the Rattlesnake, and they're just going to hike around and walk around. It only costs five bucks. Uh, over at the Lifelong Learning Center, they have two classes tomorrow morning, both starting at 9. The first one is working with digital photos on a Mac. Um, and so you can just learn how to create great photos and share them and edit and, you know, do uh, basics with them. Yeah. And then the next class is also at 9. It's Essential iPad, iTunes, and iCloud. Um, and so you have to ha know Apple ID or have iPad Basics class or iPad Basic experience, just so you know you kind of know what you're doing. But they're going to talk about iTunes and iClouds, and you can learn about downloading, listening, watching music, and movies. Uh, call 549-8765 for more information on that. Over at the Missoula YMCA, we've got Family Fun Time. It starts at 9.30. Uh, and then over at the Missoula Public Library at 10 a.m., they've got open hours in their maker space. So from 10 to 6, you can work on a project of your choice or learn how to use the equipment. There is face painting at the Children's Museum of Missoula starting at 11. And then uh, over in the Alps boardroom, they're shooting the Bull Toastmasters. So this is a lively Toastmasters club where you can go and improve your public speaking, um, improve your confidence, your leadership skills. They really help you with a wide variety of things. Uh, so it's every Tuesday, noon to 1. Call 239-9795 for more information to find out where the Alps boardroom is. Over the Montana Distillery, they've got Mule Tastic Tuesdays starting at noon, so a dollar from each cocktail sold goes back to the community and the nonprofit that uh, is of their choice. Yoga Warriors at the, is at the Learning Center at Red Willow starting at four. Uh, this is a drop-in class designed for veterans and their caregivers, and it helps with PTSD and sleeping and anxiety problems. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a, no, not at the Missoula Public Library, this always throws me off. In Frenchtown, uh, they have their Lego Club, which is a branch of the Missoula Public yes. Library. So that starts at four, but it's out in Frenchtown. Uh, over at the Yoga Fitness Center, they've got a Yoga 101 class. So this is straight up the basics. If you've never taken a yoga class before or want to, uh, and you know, and want to, you can come to this class. So it's tomorrow night, 5.30 at the Yoga Fitness Center, which is just downtown. It's on Alder Street. Um, and it's six weeks, so March 22nd to April 26th is $55. And you can call 860-869-1258 for any questions. Ooh. But um, if not, you can just show up. And she asks that you use the rear entrance in the alley. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they've got a creative writing workshop. It starts at 6 p.m. Um, and it is an open drop-in environment focused on creative writing workshop process. Over the Good Food Store, they've got a cooking, cooking class. They're going to make kimbap, which is a Korean sushi. And so that's at 6.30. It's $35. And you can learn all about what kimbap is and how to make it. Yeah, call 541-FOOD, extension 208. <coughs> Over at the Missoula Insectarium, they have this thing called Bugs and Brews, where uh, they get having a lecture or a guest speaker come, and you only pay like five, I think it's just five dollars, and you get two beers, and you listen to this great lecture about bugs. So this week, they are going to be talking about, um, they're going to be talking about the monarch butterfly. Yeah, pretty cool. So that starts at 6.30 tomorrow. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they have a, uh, they've got a, like a discussion, well it's more a class, it's called Access to Justice, it's at 6.30 at the Public Library, and it's a program about what civil legal aid is, how it works, and why having fair and equal access to the justice, justice system matters to you, and why you should care, yeah. So it's uh, 6.30, in the large meeting room, and it's presented by Emma O'Neill. Uh, this next event is kind of fun. Over at the Union Club starting at 7, they have Romeo and Juliet, a drunkard's guide. So they have performers with scripts in one hand and then drinks in another. 
and it's a uh, pretty audience related too. So that you know, it's just like a rowdy time with Shakespeare, and the audience members can hiss and boo and yell and. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it sounds awesome. Yeah, so that's tomorrow at the Union Club at seven. Um, and then my last event for our Tuesday is uh, over at REI, they've got a Find Your Park class. So they're pretty much just going to be showing pictures and um, telling stories of Cannonlands National Park. Uh, one of their experienced instructors will navigate you guys through the park's trail system and share his, uh, his adventure. So he went down the Green River and part of the Colorado River. So this is in Colorado. Yeah, so that's at 7. But uh, that's what's going on in your community. As always, check out MissoulaEvents.net. Check out the University of Montana website, The Independent and The Missoulian, for more events in your community. Yes. But of course, here is what else is what also is going on in your community to, um, tonight, as well as the, uh, uh, the, the weekly um, City Council meeting. Oh yeah. yeah. At 7 p.m. Um, tonight, they're doing a City Council meeting, and I thought I would bring it up because they're talking about a couple issues um, that are uh, affecting Missoulians today, mm -hmm. and one of them is the parking meters. And so they're doing an emergency ordinance. They're going to pass an emergency ordinance tonight that involves um, a new policy that hasn't really um, brought forth on the new Luke systems that are downtown. So here is what the uh, background and um, the alternatives that are being explored. In December of 2015, the Missoula Park Com Commission replaced um, the antiquated existed single head parking meters with multi-space meter kiosks. Due to the equipment change, the current ordinance language is not reflective of the current state of metered parking in the park um, commissioners in the Park Commissioner's Jurisdiction for Parking Management. The Missoula Parking Commission is um, submitting this referral as an emergency ordinance because the multi-space meters kiosks have already been deployed and it's imperative to avoid public confusion um, that the ordinance reflect the current meter equipment. The Parking Commission asks that the second reading be waived in order to adopt emergency ordinances more expeditiously. Ooh. Hmm. Missoula state law allows the city to waive the second reading in the event of an emergency and adopt ordinance with a two-thirds vote of the whole governing body. So if, uh, you know, two-thirds of the committee say, yeah, sure. Okay, so... so and, it, and it's on the consent agenda, and they usually gonna, do it as a bulk. Are these slated to go away? Or they're just changing what they language. are? Changing the language, huh? Weird. Okay, cool. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, it's, yeah, they're just trying to avoid any more confusion, which I don't know if it's going to do that. No, it's so confusing. It I is. watch, and it takes forever. I see people, like, standing by the kiosk, and they're just like... They're like, how does this work? Is, did this really happen? Well, and it's weird, too, because, you know, before, like, you could just go downtown, drop some money in, and go. Yep. Like, here, now, it's just, like, this whole process, yep. and it's annoying. But, of course, uh, this is the bigger item that it's going to be talking about tonight, this next one. Yeah. Um, and it's about the Missoula Mercantile, but they uh, they put it in the language that is um, in terms of the uh, hotel municipality type ruling and change. They're going to try to see about changing the code so they're able to streamline this uh, demolition of the Merc and building of a new hotel Marriott in Ugh. the place of that place. So of course, here's some background. There's a very outdated ordinance in the municipal code um, that requires hotels, lo lodging houses, and um, ro rooming houses to maintain a register of room occupants and the requirement to make a, the register available for the public and officers of the law. Police Chief Mike Brady and Chief Attorney Jim Nugent have confirmed that the law enforcement doesn't need this to work uh, effectively with hotels and privacy advocates having pointed out this ordinance is a problem. This proposed ordinance repeals the provisions related to hotel registers. Hmm. I don't that think that's pretty anything sketchy. To do with, yeah. Yeah, so they're going to talk about that tonight too. Yeah, one. Of, yeah, that's one of the things they'll be talking about tonight. But of course, they're doing a uh, an official public um, kind of like uh, public comment on the uh, Missoula Mercantile as well. So they if should. you guys have something to say about the Missoula Mercantile, they're going to try to set up a committee and start to set up a, a thing that best suits everybody's needs. Yeah. So be there tonight at seven o'clock if you care about the Missoula Mercantile. <laughs> and if you have to work, that's too bad. You should go. Well, I don't, not I don't know too many people who work at seven p.m. I'm I'm working at seven. I can't go. Come in and tell me all about it. <laughs> I'll roll you a burrito. But that's about does it for uh, Wake Up Missoula. Yeah, I think so. And that's so. basically kind of like the main thing that's going on mm -hmm. around Missoula. Yeah. Um, it, do you guys have any uh, Missoula news or anything that's coming up that you guys want to talk about? Um, let's see. 
What? Uh, gosh, not that I can. I don't have anything. No. no spring break. Yeah, it's spring break. Up. Spring break is in two weeks. Um, yeah, it's... School's out in a month. I don't know. Not too. Not too many things I can think mm. of. Things are just kind of. Even even keel the Missoula. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Asaph? I'm looking for a baby grand piano. So if there's anybody watching in TV land that wants to sell one, call me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. that's good. <laughs> and you can call MCAT if you're interested in being on our show and talking about your upcoming event, rally, or cause by calling us at five four two six two two eight, otherwise known as five four two MCAT. Or you can just go online to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice for me to write it out twice. And you can go to our little contact us tab that's in the right hand corner of it. You can also like us on Facebook and uh, send us a message. Uh, you could follow us on Twitter. Um, if you tweet us, I promise to tweet you back, but no guarantees. Um, you can, you can al- like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, just go to MCAT.org. Yep. It's a great resource for anybody who wants to uh, learn about your local television station here in yes. town. And for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And for also for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Noelle McFoy. Here is ASAF Adonai. Mm-hmm.